grass! And Very epic cool. views are coming apparently. Abby's scared of the horse. Really pretty actually, there's loads to look at. So it was a bit of a fail at the end, wasn't it? I'm Abby. And I'm Gaz. We met three years ago travelling the world, where we then brought our love for adventure back to the UK. Well, for now anyway. Expect lots of outdoor activities, city escapes, crazy challenges, and loads of mistakes. <laughs> Subscribe and let the adventure begin. Ooh. Ooh. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. And today we are at Smithy Bridge, which is about 25 minutes outside of Manchester. It's meant to be decent, so we're going to have a look round, aren't we? Yeah, we did the old Google again and it said it's a little the hidden... The old Google. The old Google. We've done the old Google. Check <laughs> and it's, it out. And it's a little hidden gem outside of Manchester, where we hope it will be. We're doing the South Pennine Water Trail, which is a little walk along the Rochdale Canal and then around Hollingworth Lake. So we're going to check that out, see what it's like, go and have a look at the town as well, maybe get some drinks. But first I want a coffee. Yeah, we're going to grab a coffee first, but we'll show you around and see if it's worth a visit. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. Right, we'll go. 15 minutes later. Okay, so a very random one. We've just got off the train and we've been waiting at the crossing for a, for about 15 minutes and we've just thought something's wrong here and now loads of cars have started turning around so it's like there's a problem with the crossing and we've just been standing here like lemons <laughs> trying to go, well, we'll go over there in a minute. Well, we can't cross over the tracks, I don't know we? what we're going to do. <laughs> right, we're not going there. We're going home. <laughs> we can't even go home though. It's that side. <laughs> <laughs> Good start already, isn't it? Yeah. Oh god. Oh well. Well, we'll get catch yeah. up with you, and hopefully we can get to the other if... side. <laughs> this way. There was a little underpass to get underneath the train track so we did manage to start anyway we've walked for about a mile along the canal and then you see Clegg Hall on your left which is built in the 1700 and apparently uh, rumour has it that there is a ghost that haunts it called the Clegg Hall Boggart and two young kids are haunted too and it looks pretty spooky as well to be fair anyway you cross over the bridge and then you walk back down with the Clegg Hall on your right so that's what we're heading to now um, so yeah I'm gonna head that way So we've been walking up for about 10 minutes after the country house, haven't we? Yeah, and there's like really cool scenery actually. So it's like obviously a big load of grass. And then in the background, grass. Like, grass. And in the background, I think that's Rochdale, isn't it? It is, yeah. So it's, it's quite cool to look at, definitely. But we're walking up towards the road now where we have to cross over. And then I think we actually turn into like proper countryside. And then we go then. up a hill where apparently we can see the surrounding Some area. Epic views are coming apparently. So we'll see what that's like. We shall see. But yeah, it seems quite nice. The weather's holding up quite, quite well moment so fingers crossed Abby's scared of the horse Stop being scared, it's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so Abby almost got attacked by a horse. <laughs> I just don't like horses, they're too big. What you like nature? I do, but horses are just too scary for me. Well, I'm sorry. Apparently, I fell off when I was a kid, and I just never got back on. It's my own fault. Anyway, moving on from the horse story, we found what we think is the path up to the hill. Stone steps, but they seem to have disappeared. A nice cobbled path. Cobbled path heading up towards the viewpoints, which should be really good before heading back down to the lake. It looks over both Rochdale and the lake. Hollingworth Lake, yeah. So should be really good, hopefully. Oh, cappy. 
Oh God, it scared me. She almost stood in a big mound of poo. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it, in my nice blue jeans. But yeah, we can already see the lake. Oh, we've just seen it actually, just there. That's what we literally just seen as we were walking there. Little lake in the background. And then, Gaz's diving board. Go on, Gaz. Not happening. <laughs> lake in Rochdale. Yeah, so it's about 10 metres on from when we last checked in with you. So it said it's a strenuous, strenuous, strenuous? Well, this is, strenuous. that was the most strenuous part, but it's, it's, ve it's a very easy walk. Obviously, we're only a quarter of the way in, but this little bit here is not very difficult. And I can see potential for either a bar or a coffee either or over there it looks like there's like umbrellas and stuff out so we'll have a little walk around the lake and see if we can get a snack yeah definitely i think that's the next part of call isn't i reckon, it? I reckon. see what's down there apparently it's a nature reserve so hopefully we see some nature hopefully some nature then yeah should i stay or should i go For a little refreshment break. A little coffee. There's a Not little... both mine though. No. Hers. <laughs> Gaz has been dying for coffee all morning. They did like ice cream. Ice cream, sandwiches, soup, cake. And there's little picnic benches that We're overlooks. We're just going to read the whole menu out if you yeah. have five minutes. <laughs> yeah. And there's little picnic benches where you could sit and have like your little picnic or dogs whatever. Dogs running riot. Yeah, dogs running riot. Just Families everywhere. There's 20 dogs just running in and out and like all playing with each other. But it was very entertaining to watch. So yeah, that was really nice. It's good to stop there and like look at the lake because it's really pretty actually. There's loads to look at. Next stop on the walk. I think as you walk around and then we think we're going to pop into Littleborough town so we'll see at that. <laughs> So we just walked past the visitor centre and we're going down through some valley, aren't we? Yeah, we think it's called Ely's or Eels Valley. Anyway, there's a massive gritstone rock up on the hill there that um, looks pretty cool that we should maybe we should climb in the future. Yeah, we should do. But yeah, we're mooching through here. This is actually really pretty. It's like a little park, loads of nature windy, around. A bit windy, as you can probably tell by my hair right now. <laughs> like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice actually. We thought, we weren't sure if we we're going to do this part of the walk, but it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? So It does. And definitely. I saw some people with fish and chips ahead, so I'm hoping to, uh, to walk to a fish and chip shop. Yeah, fingers crossed. But we'll keep going. So off we went on the last leg of the walk. I thought this little hill looked like a rice field, which was pretty cool. Anyway, what we loved about this walk was how varied it was. You know, you started at the canal, onto some beautiful countryside, a walk around the lake, which had little places to stop and watch the birds, and then ending with a river walk before returning to the canal. So there's literally so much to look at. And then obviously you have the town. However, the day didn't end in the way we expected, which we're going to explain now. So it was a bit of a fail at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, just 
just a little bit. So as you probably saw from the footage, we got to Rochdale Canal again, and you can follow that canal down and get back to Smithy Bridge Station and where we started the walk. Or we got to Littleborough, where there's also a train station. Yeah, we tried to see if there was any pubs, bars, restaurants, cafes, chip shops. Anything. Anything that sells food, but everything seems to be shut. I think it was a mixture of like bad weather, Sunday, and obviously you, you can only be outside and a lot of them were like little indoor cafes. Yeah, so we were expecting to be able to like have a mooch around the town centre, but we just can't, we can't actually comment on it at all because everything was shut. So we were just like, we just hopped on a train home back to Manchester and stopped off for some drinks in the town centre there. The walk was nice though. The walk was definitely worth it. It's just a bit disappointing that nothing was open today, but you, you can't predict that these days, can you? So you never know, do you? No, so it's never worth know. you guys, because the walk was worth it, worth you guys going and actually checking out and seeing what's open when things do open in a couple of weeks. We'll uh, catch up with you guys next week, but make sure you hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and um, we have got something really exciting planned for the first weekend indoor stuff open so stay tuned for that going one rock climbing. we're not going rock climbing no, no. but it is something really good and we're excited to do it so yeah stay tuned thanks for watching bye see ya